Hi there, my name is Benjamin Lang and I'm an anticipated sophomore graduate at Northeast Community College. And I would like to take a few moments of your time to present my portfolio to you. And all of these projects were in the graphic design career up at the Northeast Community College. All right. The first project is known as the Floor on Letterform project. And for this project, we needed to take our very own first initial of our very first name, and we needed to basically create our very own unique type that best describes who you are. So I would say the top three things that best describes who I am is being fun, playful, and creative. And so within this project, I really didn't understand what I could have done to put into this unique type. When I got some ideas from one of my instructors, it's basically, I basically looked up Keith Haring as an influence, and I decided to add them into my type. And so Keith Haring was basically a pop art and graffiti like artist. The next project is the Trumpet Illustrator. And for this project, we needed to take our illustration and basically we had to hand draw it a few times using only a pencil, paper, and a few black ink pens before taking that onto an Adobe InDesign or Adobe Illustrator and using the pen tool having to create the outline of the entire trumpet. The next project was a request by the college known as the Honesty Poster. And for this, we needed to create a poster that would get displayed all over the campus. And so we were given a list of quotes in class and the none of them really stood out to me except for this one. My honesty is the best policy. The next project is known as the Dieter Ram poster. And for this project, we were uh, re we needed to make a poster for the class known as the Dieter Ram poster. And for this project, I used the influence off of a poster known as Beat the Whites with the Red Wedges by L. Lazisky. And the poster symbolizes the Russian Civil War with Western publications. The next project was known as the Planner Project. And for this project was also known as the Answer of a Thousand Questions. And for this project, we had to make a planner and basically we would have to answer and defend the questions based off of if people already know what's already going to be in the planner. Like for an example, do we need to add like a color code to the side of a calendar to tell what month is what? Or do we really need to include a note page in there or are people going to write notes on the days of the week? Do we need to include any other lines in there or are people going to scribble all over the page? And it's basically those type of answers and questions that we need to ask ourselves because people are probably going to know what a planner actually is and what they use it for. And we also needed to include a subject matter within this project as well. And so I have decided to use parrots for the planner project because where else in this area do you really see parrots? Nowhere except white birds, blue jays, and red pharaohs. And so I have decided to use parrots, not only because they are colorful birds, but I think that they're really magnificent when it comes to their colors. And so I based the photos off of their like their planners, and I based the photos off of the days in the month. So basically, in the winter time, I would pick winter parrots, and then in February, there would be like loving birds due to Valentine's Day, and then in November, there would be orange parrots. And the next project is a reference back to the trumpet illustration, and this was done during uh, graphic arts during my freshman year, and this was an introduction to the package design known as the Cube Project. And for this project, we needed to take a whole lot of copies of our illustration project and put them all over the page. And we were also given a die line of the project. And for this project, for this project, we needed to take our trumpet illustrations, get a lot of copies on there using many different shapes, colors, opacity levels, different sizes, and we would have to spread them out all over the page. The next project was done also during my typography to during the sophomore year was known as the 3D letter form. And this was one of these projects where I've included this project and I really haven't discussed any of my challenges except for the layout and design planner project. But for this project, we needed to take two letters and somehow needed to combine both of those together. And we each got random letters that we drew out of a hat and we actually literally drew them out of a hat and take the two and combine them together. And the last project was one of my favorite projects within the entire graphic design career. And this was done during my graphic arts to during my freshman year, was known as the non-traditional book. And for this non-traditional book, we needed to include 
a book and basically the requirements for this project was to take 30 pages and include them in a non-traditional book. We needed to have at least a minimum of 30 pages. I did have a big challenge. This was one of those projects where if we don't make really quick decisions, then we would run out of time and we wouldn't meet the deadline of the requirement. And for me, the deadline was about a week to get this done. The project that I didn't like was the, we had to do this typography uh, catalog based off our own type. So we would have to do some research about a famous typewriter, which I really didn't have a favorite typewriter and needed to include a catalog. And it's basically, I'm not, wasn't so fond of that project, but trying to find out which one's my favorite type to use was not easy. And that's pretty much one of the projects I didn't like within the class was the, the typography catalog, which was during type two as well. Well, for some of the projects that we've done, like the, the Trump, the regular trumpet illustration, that was basically one piece. But for like later projects with multiple pieces, we took our illustration project and we put them on a cube project and we had to spread out the trumpet pieces all over the die line to create this uh, cube design. And so I would say that was basically a two step to three step project. And so I would either prefer a single project or uh, multiple projects within that ties in with that project. A few things. One, deadlines are important because if you don't get your projects done on time, then things aren't going to turn out for you because you're doing projects for clients. And I think the client wants to be happy with your high quality craft, your presentations, and the amount of time you put into these projects. And the other few things I learned within the career, tabbing. Tabbing is another piece of uh, equipment that you need to have because without tabbing, you have no control of your type. And then the other thing that I learned was the difference between registration black and just the regular black font color. 10 years? Well, recently I found this website and it's basically shopping for magic mugs and you can create your very own magic mugs. And so basically what I would say is maybe I can design, uh, design designs for clients if they want to buy like a magic mug and it's basically you pour hot water into it and it gives you an image on there. I find that to be really interesting. So who knows, I might be ending up working with uh, a mug company who makes magic mugs.